May 1989, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in taking part in the seminar on planning and to say a few words on this occasion. During the last two days, I have been listening to the valuable speeches made by a number of persons in different walks of life. First of all, the members who are experienced in the field of education stressed that priority should be given in the matter of allotment of funds for education in order that the future generation of this country could receive the best type of education. They emphasized that only when the people are educated, our country can progress along with the advanced countries of the world. At the same time, the officers of the government who are responsible for the implementation of the schemes pointed out that every year more and more money is set apart under this head and there is tremendous progress in this direction. My own view in the matter is that in addition to increasing the number of schools and colleges, steps should be taken to improve the quality of education. Then the experts in medicine and public health were of the opinion that only when the citizens are healthy and strong, the nation can achieve the best results in all spheres of activity. Therefore, they wanted that priority should be given to improve the health of the people and suggested a number of steps in this regard. While I am in general agreement with the views expressed by them on this subject, I would like to appeal to the government and the local bodies to take preventive steps to control the diseases. As a first step, the health of the children must be taken care of right from their birth. Apart from this, the panchayats and municipalities should take necessary action to keep the streets clean and prevent the stagnation of drainage water near the residences in the interest of public health. In addition to this, care should be taken to see that pure drinking water is made available to the public, not only in the cities and towns, but also in the villages. It should be remembered that a number of diseases are caused on account of impure drinking water. I request the government and the local bodies to pay special attention to the water supply and drainage facilities so that the large sums of money spent on medicine for the treatment of diseases can be saved. Here, I wish to stress that the main sources of water supply such as wells, tanks and rivers should be free from pollution. Most of the members pointed out that while planning, we should give primary importance to the basic requirements of the people such as food, clothing and housing, though other items are also important. It was mentioned that there has been good progress in the matter of food production on account of the construction of a number of dams and other facilities provided by the government and the cooperative societies. However, it is not sufficient to meet the full requirements of the growing population. I am of the opinion that while economic prices must be assured to the farmers taking into consideration the expenses incurred by them for agricultural operations at the same time food grains must be supplied to the consumers at a reasonable price. On this occasion, it is worthwhile to remember the words of Bharati who warned that no one should be deprived of his food and formulate our plans in the best interest of the people. With these few words, I conclude my speech. Letter dated 5th October 1980 from Mrs. 
Jacob and Company, 10 Gandhi Road, Vellur, 2 Mercers, Maruti and Company, 4 Bazaar Road, Madurai. Dear Sirs, please refer to our letter dated 22nd September 1980, in which we had requested you to send us silk saris to the value of rupees 20,000. We regret that the goods have not been received by us so far. It is also surprising that you have not even acknowledged the receipt of our letter. In this connection, we would like to inform you that in our letter under reference, we had requested you to send us at an early date different varieties of silk saris with attractive designs. We had also mentioned in that letter that the goods are required for sale to our customers during the Deepavali season. As the festival is fast approaching, we shall be glad if you can kindly arrange to supply us the items required by us without any further delay. We know that you will be busy with a large number of enquiries at the present time. However, we shall be grateful if you will kindly give priority in our case taking into consideration the long-standing business connection between us. We enclose here with a check for rupees 10,000 towards advance for the above order and shall be pleased to pay you the balance amount immediately on receipt of the goods. Thanking you, yours faithfully.